Hey gang, Poppy here. Hey gang, Poppy here. I'm in the computer room as you can see. I just came back in from out in the shop after machining this portion here so that this pulley goes on. And then I still had to drill out the pulley a little bit because it's just the way it worked. <laughs> but it don't wobble. I was polished the shaft a little bit later, you know, so it goes out a little bit smoother. And again, I may just wang it on there since once it goes on, it ain't coming off. I don't intend it to. Uh, the other pulley going to go here after I put a bush here. Anyway, that's that. That's what I accomplished out in the shop tonight. Uh, this video is right after <laughs> the video of my machining that. Uh, this is a housekeeping video. Okay, uh, just recently we got, well, my wife got this. She wanted a new toaster oven, this one, so I got it for her. I took apart the other toaster oven. You saw the uh, thermostat and the uh, timer. And I took out of that. I'm going to put it in this patent heater. Anyway. It's a Sure Crisp toaster oven by Hamilton Beach. And like all other toaster ovens, you know, you can toast, you can bake. And I've always seen toaster ovens where you could broil. Well, what they do is they give you this extra basket that sits in that pan that sits on the grate and holds your food like an inch above the pan so that the hot air can get all the way around it. And they call it air fry. I noticed uh, yesterday, day before, or maybe the day before that, one of those three days, I was watching Tom Lipton's video where he was uh, heat treating those three floating triangularoid uh, parts for his air bearing. He's making a couple of. And it looked like exactly like this. <laughs> Exactly like the one in our kitchen. Exactly. I may be wrong, but there may be more Hamilton Beach with the same stainless steel, the same knobs, and I could just about read air fry. Oh, so I think uh, if I'm right, Tom will let me know, won't he? If I'm wrong, someone will. <laughs> anyway, who watches me? Uh, okay. Uh, just two nights ago, this came. Yeah, Monday. This is Wednesday. Monday. Wife went to a Walmart because we needed a heater. I took that apart in the last video. Saw that one I took apart. This replaced it. Uh, two nights in the house. All I can say is it's really quiet. I mean, it's not even... It's quiet. Uh, the little doors, you know... Open up when it turns on and close when it turns off to keep it clean. Uh, it's a little bit higher, so you got to have to have a big dog for him to whiz in it while it's on. Chihuahuas will have trouble. Uh, it's nice. I mean, it keeping the uh, living room, kitchen, Christie's room, hunk of the house. Nice and warm. The one it replaced, we're doing it. It's not even words. That quiet. 
Now, you know, 120 bucks, it's better be quiet and make the room warm. <coughs> okay. Where else? What else? Ah! There are pictures, JPEGs, of the two items in the box of the heater. I didn't take JPEGs of the box the uh, toaster oven came in. I mean, it's a box. Toaster oven came in. It says Hamilton Beach. And I got wife got it at Wally World. So, yeah. all right, okay. Now, mm, uh, lately, there's been a little bit of controversy, suggestions of hurt feelings between Quinn Dunkey and Joe Kaczynski. You know, uh, she did a video drilling the main hole in the mainframe of a model steam engine. And next thing we know, Joe has a wooden copy of that frame and he drills it a different way. He said, his way is right. Well, I agree with both of them because I do it a third different way. So, <laughs> yeah. So, it's like, you know, hey, Different uh, skill levels, different approaches to the problem. You know, I'm pretty sure if you ask Keith Fenner, he'll have opinion number four. And uh, that's just the way it is. I do it that way. Yeah, I admit that works. It turned out okay. But, you know, I still would do it different. Anyway, uh, I know that my opinion that those castings, Quinn and Joe, are machining, are a bit coarse on their surface. And one uh, comment I said, the real engine didn't use gravel instead of sand for the mold. That got a lot. That, that that got a like and a and a, you know a couple of good uh, comments. Yeah, you're right. You know that is funny. Uh, I seriously think that the size of those parts, whoever cast them, I don't know who it is. Whoever cast the parts for those steam engines, Joe and Quinn are working on, should have used a finer, two grades finer. Sand. I know that Rio Grande in Albuquerque, New Mexico, www.albuquerque.com, Albuquerque Tool.com, Albuquerque, I mean, Rio Grande, <laughs> Rio Grande, Albuquerque, all of them. Anyway, it's a petrol bond sand, really fine. Jewelry grade casting sand. They sell it as Delft, D E L F T, clay. But it's Petrobon sand. I think the guy who's making the, the sand decided that Delft clay sounded more jewelry maker than Petrobon sand. Even ultra fine Petrobon sand, you know, sounds eh. But Delft clay, eh. Anyway. That, in my opinion, is the sand the guy should have used when he rammed the molds for these two steam engines. And all the others, too. As I know, uh, I was going through a primitive phase in my uh, smithing. And one of the techniques in the primitive phase was sand. And it just happened the wife got just cheap teddy bear collar pin. Can you make this a gold? I just happened to have gotten the sand. I went flat in the back. In the bottom of the flask. Ram, 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 ram. <laughs> Turned it over. Beautiful. Talc. Put on the top of the flask. More sand, ram, 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 ram. Very carefully open it up. 
my five millimeter uh, sprue straight in the middle and two one millimeter vents top of the head and the lowest foot put together poured it in beautiful oh absolutely beautiful I didn't have to do any polishing on the piece or the sprue or most of the sprue button just yeah very very nice bright came out came out very bright nice snip blended the sprue snip snip blended the vents you know just get good and flat and I looked at it brass brush boom like a pagan god in the temple <laughs> high burnished gold beautiful I turn it over solder on new pin gold of course made out of tin yellow dug it back out of parts here babe oh it's so beautiful how'd you do it magic my dear magic you know that <laughs> so modest anyway should have used two grades finer sand at least for those steam engines uh, it's December 2nd yeah 1007 p.m. December 2nd and it is freaking cold uh, I got down to 26 degrees Fahrenheit last night I was out in the shop I went out at 530 and I turned on the heater set it at 75 close the door come in watch the news ate dinner watch some more news went out sat down I'm starting working I feel chilly I look at the heater 51 degrees out in the shop I know the shop is uninsulated you know so I but talk about cold I mean I had to I had you know a long sleeve uh, red black plaid shirt on and that still wasn't warm enough when I came in for coffee put on my light blue jacket my windbreaker you know now I know why Brian Block keeps on wearing that work coat. <laughs> he don't want to freeze. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go for now. You stay safe. Good night from California.